My cart is so full right now. Oh, brass, brass. Somebody needs this. Put a Christmas tree in. This is my kind of fancy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video for y'all. We're gonna do a little bit of a haul, not a huge one. I just have a few things that I found throughout the week that I wanna show y'all. And then I had an amazing trip to the Gobo Bins, which y'all know is my favorite place to shop. So it was so good that I decided I would take y'all along with me. So we're gonna do a haul first. Then we're gonna go to the Goodwill bins. And if you do not know, all of the items that I thrift all month long, I put up for sale the first Wednesday of every month at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on juliesdesignsandsigns.com. That is my website that is hosted by Squarespace. And I wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video. So like I said, I don't have a huge haul, but I definitely wanna show y'all everything that I got. Um, I think this is all from two estate sales and then just one like little thrifting trip, thrifting trip. Um, estate sales are my favorite. Usually when I go to an estate sale, I buy a ton of stuff. That wasn't the case at these two. I just got a few things, y'all. I paid $2.50 each for these books, which is a little bit much for me. But I have to tell you, these small vintage books sell really well. They are also very hard to find, so I felt like it was worth it, but look, look at all the beautiful colors. I love the colors. I love the size because they just fit perfectly in almost any area. I just have not decided if I'm going to keep them or sell them because I love them so much. I prefer to be around 50 cents a book for resale just because there's so many factors that go into it. I don't resell them for a whole lot. They're heavy to ship and I know there is media mail. However, if somebody buys, you know, a stack of books and then a crock or something else, then I can't ship it media mail. So I don't know, they're very pretty. I might be keeping these for myself. I'll decide. Y'all let me know if I should keep them or sell them. Sell them. Okay, so let me show y'all this cute crock I got. It was $6. I would have paid $6 for it, but it was half price. It is beautiful. I love the size of it. I love the color of it. Everything about it is absolute perfection. I don't know if I'm selling this piece either. <laughs> I feel like there's some things that I'm going to want to keep here. Um, I got these two little pottery pieces. I'm assuming this is a cup, but look how thick they are. I just I just love the size of them. They're definitely older. Um, and this would, I wish I had some floral or something to put in here. I think they're just like so cute. I would use them as a little vase. And then I got this. I think it's a grinder. It does spin. But look, at, oh yeah, some stuff is coming out of it. Look at the shape of it. I love this. And then this is metal right here. And then it has the little wooden knobby handle you could use it um how do you get the stuff in here does this come off i don't know how do you get the stuff in here i don't have i get the ones from walmart that are plastic that already have the stuff in it and then when you're done you just buy a new one so i don't know how this works but i wouldn't use it anyway i would just put it out in my home as decor. I mean, look how cute that looks. This is also just another piece of decor. It's a, an egg. It is a pottery egg. Look at that, how beautiful. I thought it was wood at first, but it's definitely pottery and it has a metal stand. And once again, I think you just put this on some books and that's just such a timeless, beautiful look. I do really like to turn my books this way as well. Look how pretty. I love that. So I always look at both sides of the books when I'm purchasing. I look at the pages and I look at the color of the books because I think styled both ways are beautiful and I love when the pages have like that aged color to it. I picked up these two and now that I see them kind of in better lighting, I'm not sure about them. They're more yellow than what I thought. I thought they were just more of a dark brown. So I just thought they were pretty. I grabbed them. 
I love these little colanders. Uh, this one's extra special with this little base right here. And these, I don't resale these for a ton, but it's definitely my style and something that sells for me. So I picked that up. I thought this was so pretty. Um, I'm only picking up art that is small now. I'm trying to anyway, because <laughs> it's a lot easier to ship. Those bigger pieces have just been so difficult to ship and they don't always make it. So I'm trying to stick with smaller pieces, but this is, I think it may be copper, but I'm not sure, but I love the look of this. It's kind of like this winter scene. It is very, very pretty. I mean, perfect for the winter time or in a cabin. I love the frame on it. I love everything about it. I'm not changing anything. I'm just going to sell it exactly like this and it's light, not breakable. So it'll be easy to ship. Look at this beautiful hand carved angel. I did try to do some research on it because it was $35. But I couldn't find anything on it. I did find some similar ones that were selling upwards of $200. And like I said, everything at this house was just quality. And I just thought she was so pretty. I love hand carved wood pieces. And then she has a spot if you wanted to. You could put some little candles here or some little succulents I think would also look good. But she's just the perfect shade of brown. I love her. So I grabbed her. And then look at this, y'all. I don't know what this is technically called, but it is copper. It was outside, so the patina is absolute perfection. And it has these two little knobbies on the side that I thought were really, really pretty. It does have this piece in here. Oh, wait, that'll come out. Okay, I'll do that later. <laughs> that'll come out, but this was, um, you know, a great shape, size, and patina. So I definitely grabbed that and then... While we're on the copper, look, look at this piece. So it has the hooks to hang on the wall. Also, this side is beautiful. And they had it in their garage. And then they have the knobs right here that could just be decoration or you could actually hang stuff from it. I just thought it was beautiful. And the stuff in the garage was definitely cheaper because, you know, that was stuff that they didn't think was as fancy. But this is... This is my kind of fancy, so I love this. I grabbed that, and then what else I got? Oh, I got, um, I think, nine of these little picture frames. They are like this beautiful green teal color, and then they have this gold filigree on the sides. And I'm going to sell the whole set of nine together because I'm thinking this will make great Christmas ornaments. You put pictures of all your kids and grandkids or whatever in there and then hang them on the Christmas tree. How pretty would that be? So to sell one of these probably would not be worth it because I'd only sell it for a couple of dollars, but to get all nine of them and just sell them as a set, that is definitely worth it. I think that this is a um, business card holder, but I'm not positive. It says made in India. It is very, very cute and tarnished to perfection. I mean, how cute would that look with some little business cards in it? So I thought this was so, so pretty. I have just one basket that I thrifted this week. This one, I love these. They come in all different shapes and sizes. They are for plants. And then I also thrifted, I think three or four of these faux lavender plants. They are originally from Ikea and they are very sought after because they look so real. Look how pretty that looks and you can't get them anymore. So I was super excited to find these and I've been looking for little pots or things to put them in and look, look how pretty that is. I love this so much. So I'm going to have some of these available on my website i wish ikea would come out with these again because they are so pretty look how good that looks oh also um these beautiful stockings behind me are also available on my website i designed them i had somebody else make them so nothing is hot glued everything is professionally sewn I have the ones with the pockets that are my personal favorite 
Then I have the clean edge ones, and then I also have the frayed edge ones because y'all know I love my frayed edge drop cloth. So those are available on my website if you are interested. Ooh, I wonder if the lavender, oh, how pretty would that be? It's, the pot's just a little bit too big for this crock, but that would be absolutely beautiful. So that is everything that I wanted to show y'all that I thrifted this week. Now let me tell y'all a little bit about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you are just getting started or you are already an established brand, Squarespace has everything you need to power your e-commerce website and grow your business. They make it very easy to design your website with these ready to use templates and you can even narrow down your search results by clicking exactly what you need so if you're an online store and you're a local business it'll give you these options to work perfectly for your business you can also preview how that design would look on a computer a tablet and a mobile device so if you have been nervous about starting a website because you don't know how to design one don't worry guys squarespace has got you covered so if you think that you are interested in starting your own online store, y'all go check out squarespace.com slash Julie's Designs and Signs. And Squarespace is giving my viewers 10% off when you use code Julie's Designs and Signs at checkout. So I will have a link to all of that in the description below so y'all can go check it out. All right, now what y'all have been waiting for, let's go thrifting at the Goodwill Bins. If you have not been to the Goodwill bins, it's all these bins full of stuff that you just come in and dig through and they're constantly bringing out new ones and you just never know what you're going to find. I have not been here in about four days, so I'm hoping that means I will find lots of goodies today. Y'all, look, I found another one of these. My tree is going to be full this year recipe box. Oh, they're bringing out some new bins. What is this? It's like silicone. I'm guessing that's for baking. All right, put this in my cart. I have lots of stuff up here, but I kind of want to go look through the bins first. Um, so that way I don't miss out on stuff. This is very heavy. I wonder if it had a base to it. Oh, look, this cute little chair. Okay, I'm definitely grabbing this. All right. I'm gonna go through these bins first because they usually swap these out more often. And then I'll come back and dig through all this. Is this a chenille bed spread? I don't know if it's old or not. It's pretty thin. I guess it doesn't matter. It's going in my cart. All right, I found a tag. Is JC Penny a queen size? I don't know if it has any stains. I'm gonna get it no matter what because I could use it for DIY projects or if there's no stains, I could actually use it on a bed. Dang, somebody got a really nice Christmas tree in their cart. I wish I would've seen that. I'm seeing lots of clothes today so far. Ooh, it's a flannel. My son said he needs more flannel. Oh, with some pajama pants. Cute little fall shirt, Tommy Hilfiger large. Is that a women's shirt? Yeah, Dorn. He would actually love this pattern. I just found this pillow. It says Gone Fishing. It is in excellent condition. It is designed by Laura McGroy and it is Chandler Four Corners. I did look up this brand and these pillows actually sell for good money and this one is in such good condition. So I think I'm going to put it in my cart. So this is the color. Over there it looks brighter red, but it's more of like a maroon red. Very pretty. Ooh, look how good it looks with my chenille bedspread too. Here's a cute little tarnished silver seasons greeting things. I think it's to hold cards. This is really cute, but y'all, so when I pick up stuff, I have to think about, you know, the time it's going to take me to list it and ship it. And sometimes these little things, although I love them, they're just not worth it. But I had an idea the other day. What if, oh, this is pretty. 
what if I start picking up these little things that I find at the Goodwill bins, even like some nice florals, not this obviously, but you know what I mean, like some nice DIY supplies, some cute little things that I find like this, and do mystery boxes that I sell each month when I do the web website sale. So I'll tell y'all like, hey, this is, you know, I'm picking this up for the mystery box, but you won't actually know what's in it. Like I'll try to, you know, get enough stuff. These are interesting. There's a few of them. Um, you know, I'll try to get enough stuff to do several mystery boxes. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that idea. Oh my gosh, look at these ginormous brass candlesticks. Yes, those are definitely on my cart. Look, look how pretty my cart is looking. So, I keep getting distracted by stuff. This is nice, but I don't know, there's a big bump right there. Let me know if y'all are interested in thrifted mystery boxes. I'm thinking maybe 10 items, and then I could throw in some DIY stuff, like maybe a transfer sample, and a fusion paint sample, or something like that. It'll definitely be worth it. Ooh. <gasps> I actually tried to make these before. It was a huge fail, but I love these so much. They look like little cement burlap sacks. Love them. I'm gonna get both of these. My cart's way over there. I gotta go grab it. I picked up this magazine rack. I am actually going to take it apart for the spindles and I'll probably list these on the website. People have been asking for spindles and I just haven't been finding them. The Big Whale Greensburg. What is this? What is this? It's like a um, silver utensil box. These are some very thick plates. I think that's a cow. It's missing a leg though. This looks like a decoy but it is missing his head unfortunately and that was wood. I wonder if the head's in here. I am totally putting that back together. Look how amazing that is. That's in here. But this is just so weird. I might have to get this. Some kind of duck. Hmm. I can't go wrong with these. I'll probably grab those as well. Anybody need one of these? a little hot and it already has a foam in it but not really into the bee some greenery some little art pieces oh there's four of them this is kind of cute it is very heavy probably leave that here baby some angel wings I wonder what angel this goes to. I like these. They're very pretty. We'll see. I might come across them. Some vintage babies. Oh, a little Anna or Elsa hairstyle thing. Aww. That's a cute baby. I like her. I need to collect some little toys for Ren because a few weeks ago I thrifted an entire um bag <laughs> okay he's a little creepy i took an entire bag of toys and every day when she'd get home from school i would give her two of them and i am almost out so we need to thrift some more Ooh, what is this i don't know how i feel about this one i like the smaller ones like this i'll think about that you know what? I bet the angel wings go to her. Where did I put those things? Let me go find them. We'll put her together. Okay, I fixed her. Fixed her halo. I fixed her wings. I think I'm going to get her. Y'all think there was something on her arms? Or that's what they're supposed to look like? There's a chicken, I think, cookie canister. It's very sticky though, and the can't get the head off. Ooh, what's this? Bird needlepoint. I think there's more in there. 
Here's another one. Ooh, I like the colors on this one. Very pretty. And then this one's a flower. I don't know, that one looks kind of messed up though. I think I'm gonna leave this one. But I'll give the two bird ones and sell them as a print. That's very pretty. What's this? Candle holder thing? Hmm. That would actually look really pretty painted. I would leave this brass. I'll put that in my cart and think about it. Purses. Some more frames down here. Let's see. If there's any more needlepoint artwork? see any it's an owl lots of glassware here's a little teapot but enamel one but I don't like the pattern on it so I'm gonna leave that here that's cute oh I love it and look at the little hanger how adorable okay I'm gonna get that piece what else is in here <gasps> another needle point Ooh, I like this one. Look at the colors and look at the frame. That is so pretty. All right, grab those two. Let's make sure there's no more in here. Look, y'all. I love that. I'll probably sell this and the little girls jumping rope together. All right, now I gotta look through all this. See if there's any other artwork. There is not. Ooh, can I just take the deer out? Look how vintage that deer is. Let's see if he comes out. I can't get him out. He's stuck in there. We might have to leave him behind. See a Santa? Oh, I think this is like from a dollar store or something. A little soap dispenser. What is this? What in the world? I don't know what this is originally for but it is adorable. I look great with some floral. Little cookie tin. This one's old, I'm thinking, but I don't know. I don't know if get that. Ooh. Pasta. That one's interesting. I might look this one up. Maybe I should. Maybe I should go ahead and look this one up as well. My cart is so full right now. Baskets. Oh, look at this. I like the concept, but I do not care for the execution. Let's see. Teacups. It's a bag of pine cones, but I don't need that. What are these? It says quality refreshing ice cold drink glassware. It's very big. Home essentials and beyond. Look at this lamp. I think somebody painted it though. It looks a little yellow. This is a nice bowl. I like how it has a little base to it, but it would definitely need a paint job. What is this? Why is there a Santa? with a bird on his head. Oh, it's a candle. Okay. <laughs> oh, here's another one of those tins. This one is for macaroni. Kind of goes with that uh, pasta one that I picked up. I did not look them up yet. These are so heavy. It's stamped on the bottom, but I can't read what it says. These are definitely something. They are really heavy. I think I'm gonna get both of these. I love the color. They have some crazing going on. You can just tell. You can tell that they are quality pieces. I'm running out of room in my cart for everything. Oh, here's some Christmas stuff for this Santa. He's cute. Where he's from? He was from Kohl's for $40. I like the color of him. I think he's missing something right here, though. Yeah. So, rocking horse. There's some more tins. Oh, brass, brass. Somebody needs this. Put a Christmas tree in. Where I'm gonna put this in my cart though? I'm gonna need another cart here. All right, I just found a kitchen utensil that I've never seen before. What in the world 
is this used for? I feel like it combs something, but what? So if you know what this is, leave me a comment. Okay, I just spotted this belt, but it has these metal pieces that would be very pretty to add as an embellishment to something. So I think I'm gonna put this in my cart and I can add it to my random metal drawer because I definitely have one of those with all kind of bits and pieces of little metal objects that I can add to DIY projects. All right, guys. Well, today was a great day at the Goodwill bins. Here's four little, little things that I picked up to possibly put in mystery boxes. So this is kind of an example of the, you know, kind of items that you would get. Def definitely things that are my style. And I looked these up and I feel like if I list them together, it will definitely be worth it. Got those things down there. I got some clothes for the kids. I always pick up a few pieces of clothes and just tons and tons of goodies. It was definitely a good day at the Google Bands. Oh yeah, almost forgot about that decoy down there. I'm definitely gonna fix him. He's gonna be amazing. And some little pieces of artwork. Good day. It was a good, good day at the Bands. I told y'all it was gonna be a good trip. This is why I am so addicted to the Google Bands. It truly is a treasure hunt. Every time you go, you just never know what you're gonna find. That duck decoy, I think I might have to keep it. It is just so beautiful. It's so my style. I love that aged black wood. So I don't know. I feel like in this video, there is a lot of things I wanna keep. I just found, you know, stuff that was truly my style and I just really wanna keep in my home. I also realized that I'm having all of the seasons going on here. I have my fall sweater, I have my spring lavender, and then I have Christmas right behind me. But you know, that's just how it goes. We gotta, we gotta do all the seasons at one time when you're an influencer. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Definitely leave me a comment below and let me know what was your favorite thing that I thrifted. I'm gonna pick two things. I think it's the duck, love it. Don't find those often. That is just a beautiful piece of history that I was able to save from the Goodwill bins. And I also just love the simplicity of these Crocs. It's also something that I don't come across often. And I think they are beautiful and look amazing anywhere in your home. And I definitely scoop them up anytime I find them. And $3 for this Croc was an amazing price. Y'all know I love a good deal. And don't forget if you saw anything that you were interested in, um, even the stuff I said I was keeping, because sometimes I do end up putting it for sale. I can't keep everything. It will be available on my website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com. So I thrift all month and then I post all of those new items up the first Wednesday of every month at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Set your alarms, guys the items go very very fast and if you are interested in starting your own website don't forget to go check out squarespace.com slash julie's designs and signs and use the code to get 10 percent off and i will have a link to that in the description below for y'all so i hope y'all enjoyed this thrifting adventure i just love showing y'all everything that i found and then taking y'all out of the house and going on a little shopping adventure. Um, so I hope y'all have been enjoying these videos as well. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video.